Welcome back everyone for the first bonus part of Lobotomy Corporation. In the last part, we were able to pretty much beat the game. We created the tower or the tree of light. I guess saved humanity? Not entirely sure how that's going to save humanity though, but yeah. I mean, we fulfilled Carmen's wish, we regretted Ace uh, Rather, we fulfilled A's ambition of granting it, that, that, that our facility is back online. On the surface, we, aren't, uh, we are no longer hiding from them. Not entirely sure how that light is going to save everyone, though, but... Uh, it's alright. I, I don't really have to understand everything around here. I'm just a manager. I'm just supposed to take care of the abnormalities. I tried to explain some stuff around here, but let's be serious. I'm already so busy with all the monsters around here. <laughs> I have no idea what's up with all that seed of light business, but it's fine. I mean, we have it. We, we, we finished it, right? Now, all that's remaining for us to do is uh, see the other endings who are waiting for us right over here in the story mode, or in the story recollection thingy. But I would. There's something missing. Oh, I see, I see. Wait, didn't, didn't I get the 100% message once uh, beating Bina? After dealing with all the other A's? Wasn't there a screen telling me that I had 100% germination so that we can raise to see the Tree of Light? Or maybe that's related to the, the, the thing with the abnormalities that I need to collect all of them. There's a chance that it might be related to that. Nevertheless, as you can see, we were already able to unlock all the endings. But I think we're going to save that for once we unlocked the last cutscene, right? Once we have all the abnormalities. And, as you can probably guess from the top left corner after the loading screen, yes! I have decided to add the base modes now. I heard about them before, especially the fix for Shattered's uh, mod upgrade that actually increases the healing capacity of our healing bullets and all the good stuff. But I decided against it simply because I wanted to beat the game in its current state. If the game was built around that state, it has to be beatable, right? It had to be beatable. Even though I would really wish to use the optimization much, much sooner, especially during Bina and Augment's mode. Let's be serious, that was a nightmare. I couldn't select properly. There were legs. Everyone died. Everyone panicked. <laughs> it was a catastrophe. And I got the first F ever. <laughs> I didn't even get an F once Gabor decided to kill like 10 guys in the last mode. Anyways, uh, now that we have beaten the game, I would say all, all the shackles are off, right? I can use whatever. I'm even going to use uh, the mod that you guys suggested for me, the infinite extraction thingy. It's going to allow us to, to find uh, the abnormalities much, much easier. Simply because uh, you guys warned me about it that once we have a certain threshold of abnormalities, finding the new ones is uh, kind of random and rare. Just technically speaking, each day you only have a selection of six abnormalities, and as you can probably see from before the selection screen when I got double well care, <laughs> it is possible to get the same stuff, right? That we already have. It's not always going to be some new ones. And that is why infinite extractions here, that's going to help us out. So in case, in the worst case scenarios, I, I only got repeats, from the stuff that we already had before, I could just infinitely extract again until uh, something new shows up. At least that is the current plan. That is literally the current plan. Now then, without further ado, let us start a new day and see who we're going to recruit. Yeah. Wait, can I extract this? Nope. Nope. The first abnormality is always once in. Because, why am I talking about new recruits? Technically speaking, I kind of planned for this to just be monster hunting campaign. <laughs> you know, just a monster hunting campaign. But some of you guys really wanted to join this, uh, this hunt as well. So that is why 
we're going to have some uh, some recruitments here in there as well. You know, <laughs> for the fun of it. Like Cinnamon. Cinnamon wanted to make a return. But then I told him that I would have loved to send our all our old employees into some kind of vacation after the ordeal. I mean, look at this. They they survived 50 days. Sure, they died on day 41, uh, 49, but technically speaking, they survived 50 days. After the torment, I would totally assume that uh, they might be a bit tired from the whole... Morty! <laughs> Morty! <laughs> Freaking Morty! Of course! Fakes, buddy! Um, yeah, I, I mean... After the whole adventure, I thought they might be tired and need a vacation or something, but I guess Cinnamon still w wanted to join. And since uh, I kind of s denied the first attempt until reconsidering, he, he literally sent all his five <laughs> into the party corporation. But yeah, wait, do I have points for this? Yes, I can! I can hire her right away. So, uh, Medenza Spectrum! <laughs> Oh god, sorry, sorry, Cinnamon's wife, a biscuit, or how it's called, bitter scotch. Um, there's a slight, a slight change of, uh, of plans. Uh, Medenza's back, and <laughs> I need to change her, her appearance a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how she looked again, but it was at the very least blue hair, right? It was at the very least somewhat, something like blue hair. Oh god. Well, welcome back, Medenza! Seems like you, you missed uh, the last day, but good to know that you're back for another round, huh? Good to know that you're back for another round. Now, Morty and Medenza <laughs> need to help me out with like, new abnormalities. Now, technically speaking, the first day is literally a freebie. Nobody's going to do anything special around here. We only have one sin, which isn't even new. So let's speed it up and see what kind of new abnormality we're going to have the next day. So, okay. See what I mean? See what I mean? Repeats. Repeats. But lucky for us, there's actually a new abnormality right away. F244. However, the curse continues eternally. Never broken. Welcome aboard, new one. Let's see what you're going to do. Right, Angela? Uh... Build the future! <laughs> yeah, technically speaking, we don't really have to see the cutscenes at all, simply because uh, she's literally just repeating all the dialogue that we have seen before. Technically speaking, we are s currently still trapped in the, in the script since we started back on day one. Practically speaking, we are still kind of free, simply because... Uh, there's light, uh, a tree of light in our title screen, right? <laughs> okay, uh, wait a second. I need to see how butterscotch is going to look like. And then I also need to recreate Lapus, who would really like to join back. Even though he just barely survived the whole ordeal with uh, Bina and stuff. So, okay. That is going to be Cinnamon's wife, Butterscotch. The exact opposite of its fluffiness and cuteness. Straightforward, rude, and a little bit picky about the stuff that she's going to wear. Also, she really likes to fight in close range, in opposition to uh, Cinnamon, who really likes uh, range attacks. Well then, welcome aboard, Butterscotch. Now, I'm not entirely sure how long this journey is going to be, so technically speaking, we only need like 34 abnormalities, but welcome aboard! Uh, do I still have enough to... Yes, I can still hire one more. So, and welcome back, Lapus. Now, I think that is pretty much everyone who really, really wanted to return as their original character. Except of Cinnamon, he sent over his wife. Okay then, let's see what type of new abnormality we have currently. And technically speaking, uh, it might be a bit overkill to have like four diff- I didn't equip them. <laughs> I didn't equip them! <laughs> Still, it's just the second day, it's fine. It's just, it's just the second day, but you know what I mean? It's a bit overkill to have like four guys taking care of uh, two abnormalities, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm just going to save the future lot points for... Stat upgrades or something, you know? Stat upgrades. 
Okay, so let's see. What do we have here? It's some kind of uh, animal with uh, insect legs and blood. It seems kind of bloody. Okay, at the very least, the front legs seems to be covered in blood. Uh, yeah, let's try out inside with Morty. How about that, Morty? Are you going to take care of it? And in the meantime, one of you can try to further increase your attachment with uh, Watson. Technically speaking, I'm not entirely sure if we actually need the stat upgrades. But just in case, just in case, there's a chance we might lack some... Uh, or rather, that we have to deal with some war abnormalities. Oh, we are... Have we done already? Right, back then, the energy requirement was so pathetic. <laughs> Look at this, it's just 30! It's just 30! The last weeks it was over a thousand! It took actually 20 minutes sometimes to actually beat the game! <laughs> Alright, I beat the day! Okay, we keep boosting up your attachment. This doesn't really seem like it has anything against inside at least. It's not really its preference, but it could be worse, right? And of course, thanks to our upgrades, we don't really have to worry about any type of meltdowns. So let's see, I only have 8 boxes, not quite enough to get all the information yet. Okay, never mind, it doesn't really seem like it actually likes inside. How about we try something else? How about instinct with Meldense? Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Of course, Lapis already got the crown, that's good. But Scott is going to try it as well. Let's see. Okay, it really, really dislikes instinct. That's not good. There's a chance it might try to breach. Are you going to breach? I don't have equipment currently, but they have to step. Okay, it doesn't breach. Uh, how about attachment? Do you like attachment? Lapus, would you like to try? I mean, you just got a crown. You have better stats than all the others currently. But a Scotch continues to try to get the attachment crown. Okay, it doesn't really like attachment either. That's kind of bad. Well, at the very least, the high stats are protecting them from all kinds of damage. <laughs> okay, let's see. At the very least, I have... Uh, enough boxes for the management guidelines. Committing repression work with F244 shows the best energy results. The work produced good numbers of PE boxes, but negative effects uh, negatively affects the health of F244. Okay. Any work other than repression was found to improve the health of F244. And... Wait, so... Using repression is going to weaken it, and anything else is going to heal it. It's that it. After repeating repression work, F244 collapses with a weak moan onto the floor. Once it has passed, Anastasia, who had carried out the work process, began to suffer indefinitely indefinitable symptoms. Soon F244 was born anew. Okay. What does that mean? It really likes repression work, though. Okay, wait a second. This this literally screams for a slight experiment. Uh, Morty, would you be so kind to see what this is all about? Beauty and the Beast is so appalling. However, the curse continues the eternally. That is another form of joy brought by birth. That? Beauty? Okay, it changed its position. So if I were to use it again, let's say with uh, Meldenzo, then it's going to make a difference now, right? You didn't be forever searches for someone to lift the curse. The curse has existed for centuries, inflicting agony upon many unfortunate victims. That is another form to, of joy brought by birth. Is that why the quote was about an a curse continuing internally? Uh, 
Oh, I see. I see, and it kills them instantly. So the first thing dies and gets replaced. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> and, and it only helps if I do a repression twice. So if I were to not use repression and instead go for insight, that would be much better for everyone, right? Even though it seems like it kind of likes, or rather, kind of hates insight on, on a higher level. Actually speaking, it kind of hates everything except repression. And isn't that just great? <laughs> isn't that just great? Basic information, it's actually called Beauty and the Beast. I'm still lacking some information, so let me just quickly go for repression again. Since it literally creates the most information around you. Of course, we're not going to leave Medenta for dead. Or rather, we're not going to leave her to the cursed state that she's currently in. Are those insect parts on her mouth? She actually has lips as well. There are lips on that thing. <laughs> it's half dear. Angel thingy. Insect. And. Oh god, no. Ugh. At the very least, it seems like it's. Yeah, it can't, it can't escape. But it's a terrible work type, though. It hates everything on a higher level. The only one who can efficiently f work with that thing is our lower levels. Which is something we uh, we kind of not really have, since everyone is starting with level 3 on everything, right? Isn't that just great? At the very least, it doesn't really do so much damage. At the very least. Huh. But overall, it doesn't really seem to be such a bad thing, right? Doesn't really seem to be so Oh, you got the hat! It looks pretty! <laughs> but you can't really keep it. I'm really sorry about the scotch, but I have to save my Denzo really quickly. So, okay. Much, much better. We're going out here with three hats. Actually, I was planning to go with four hats, but uh, yeah, one set wasn't really playing along that well. Oh well. Okay, let's see. Which type of new abnormality is going to show up next? Especially... ah, Nothing? No way. No way in hell. There we go. <laughs> it's a good day. Are you still shy today? Oh, 192? Not really. I'm actually feeling quite fine. <laughs> but thanks for asking. Okay, let's see. Uh, I wish to mature my spirit, of course, Angela. But don't worry about a thing. Currently, all we need to worry about is uh, finding more stuff around here, right? <laughs> totally. Totally. And keeping those hats safe, that's important. Really like the flower look. And of course, the crown on, on Lapus. But as you can probably see, yeah, <laughs> the days are passing relatively quickly simply because we have literally all the stats we need. We don't even need armor. We're just heading right in there and see. Whoa. What the heck is that? Is that a curtain? And something is moving behind it. Uh, yeah, how about Meldens is going to check that out? In the meantime, you guys can continuously work your repression stat for movement. Still need to improve that a bit more. Actually speaking, you're going to pr improve that with uh, one sin. Since technically speaking, I really like the, the look of that crown, you know? I really like the look of that crown. In the meantime, first repression. More repression. Technically speaking, I should probably do that later, since technically speaking, that thing could kill. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, how about... Uh, attachment, maybe? Sure, why not? I mean, it looks kind of grim. It looks kind of grim. It seems like attachment is going to be neutral. But it does, in fact, do some quite some damage. So, uh. Maybe, it's maybe I should consider who I'm going to send. I mean, my dancer wasn't really allowed to do that much work. Oh my god, I can shoot for days. 
but as you can see, Maldense wasn't really able to do that much work. The others have a little bit, a little bit more successions around here, but yeah, it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's see. Attachment was normal. How about insights? Are you going to like insights? Did it become stronger? Oh god! Ah, oh, great! I didn't equip them with anything! Oh, it's a runner! It's even a runner! Ah, oh, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. I'm sorry, my dancer, but you have to go like this. I'm not going to allow you to play around here. Not right now, we still need to get boxes around here in order to understand this thing, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, my dancer, don't worry, you're not going to stay permanently dead, but just you just have to rest for a few minutes, okay? Okay, so, uh, it turns out that thing is a bit more tankier than I thought, so we have to watch out for that. So it seems like inside is something that he really hates. How about instinct with Lapus? You like instinct? There's no sunlight to be found inside this facility. The city encouraged 0192 to keep smiling. I should probably pause because it's way too much text. It still hurts quite a lot though. But it's fine, I guess. So it, it likes attachment and insight from the looks of it. Today, shy and look. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Um, this abnormality changes the facial expression at certain intervals. However, when the face, uh, when faced with another person, their change halts. Their changing expression. Oh, is that supposed to be the thing moving around uh, the curtain of faces? Is that it? From smile to anger, they have five levels of fa facial expression. Dubbed face one, two, five. No special circumstances came from face three. Face two showed an increased success rate in the employees. Employee healed SP when work was a su uh, successful complete, uh, successfully completed. Oh God, I can't read. It's the first part and I'm already failing. <laughs> Phase 4 showed 150 plus a percentage damage dealt during work and the success rate declined. So it does extra damage. So you don't really want to have it on phase 4, is that it? But on phase 2 it is able to heal. Interesting. And that's... Is that... Phase 1? So that means I should probably not enter if it's uh, around this area, I guess. And I should probably slow down the speed as well. Simply because uh, it's going to make it change slower. But it kind of seems like it really likes to stay angry all the time. Oh wait. Okay, wait. It's normal. Uh, I think it liked instinct, right? I think it liked it, Stinch. There's no sunlight to be found inside this facility. Yet today, Shy's look, uh, today's Shy's look delic uh, delicately tries their own skin. They dry their own skin. Okay, I mean, I, everyone has a different type of hobby, right? Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge that a thing wants to dry its own skin? And kill my guys out of expression of rage, <laughs> you know, out of the expression of pure hatred and rage. I should probably consider equipping my guys though, since it seems like that guy is actually able to deal quite a lot of damage on them, especially since uh, their normal equipment- Oh, that was bad. Their normal equipment com comes with quite a high black weakness. So we have to watch out for that, but I should have enough boxes to uncover the remaining management guidelines. Phase 5 shows 200% damage dealt during war, and the success rate drastically declines. So that means that is probably the reason why Maldenza died, and that she didn't really have a chance at all. Boah! What? <laughs> what? Oh, no thanks, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm going to get your face. That is made out of your own skin. No way. <laughs> no way. 
and phase 1 shows 50% damage dealt during work and the success rate increase. In addition, each time work was successful, the employee's health and HP was recovered. So it's kind of hard to fail once uh, it is behind phase 1, right? And it seems like it's really finicky. It doesn't really like to be in a good mood around here. So let's see. Angry. Still angry. Continuously angry. Slightly angry. <laughs> Even more angry. Oh, happy. Happy instinct. Lapos, go! <laughs> Yeah, I can see it. It seems like it really likes to stay angry. It really likes to stay angry. Most of the time, there were like five different expressions, six different expressions, and five out of six of them were angry. <laughs> it really, it doesn't really like to smile. It really doesn't like to smile at all. <laughs> it's just bad. I, I still need information from that thing. Are you kidding me? Angry again? Oh, just screw it. Dude, I'm gonna get your management guidelines first. Give me a second. Oh, I was able to get all of them. Come on. Y yes, butterscotch. Butterscotch. And oh wait, instinct. Go. <laughs> it's really fast on, on that speed. But at the same time, as long as I select somebody very close to the door, it's not going to cause an issue, right? Especially since we have all of them in that corridor. And that means... Uh, at least one of them has to be close to the door at all times, right? At least one of them. They have four chances. Four chances. He just needs to stop being angry all the time. And it's not good enough. That's not good enough, smile. Yeah. Yes! Butterscotch! There you go! More instinct for you, because you're the closest. Okay, it doesn't really seem like it's that bad. It looked kind of bad at first, simply because of the... Like damage, weakness, but no, no, it seems like it's kind of nice actually. It even recovers in the middle of the work result as well. I mean, it's very unlikely for you to get it on, on a good smile, simply because it really likes to be angry all the time. But if it is happy, it's pretty much a guaranteed win, right? Uh, Medenza, more instinct, there you go. I think I have enough to get two bonuses out of this. Oh my god! It has a gun out of his own face. It deals black damage, which is appreciated, but it's still a gun with its own faces. First it makes a curtain of its own face expressions, and then it crafts a gun as well. Of all things. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, he's angry again. I maybe shouldn't, I shouldn't have commented about the gun, huh? Yeah, I shouldn't have commented about the gun. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's actually kind of nice. Do you know how rare black damage is? Yeah, of course. I really like black damage. Here. Uh, no, wait. It doesn't like attachment. Uh, instinct. For Lapus. Actually speaking, did I check? Oh, it's kind of common for everything. At least now. Instinct, inside and attachment. I guess I got the bad results because of its expression then. Wait, what about the last one? So you can pretty much do everything with it. But you have to watch out for the face. And even the suit! Even the suit has patches of his face! How many expressions does that guy have? And why does he have so much skin to show it in his expression with? That's so weird. Did he steal it from somewhere or did it regrow? Well, at least it seems like he's happy about it. Uh, attachment for butterscotch. Why not? I mean, it wouldn't really hurt to have a little bit more of an attachment boost around here. Just a tiny bit more. Just a tiny bit. Right, butterscotch? There we go. That's that's a good improvement. Oh my god, Laps, what happened to you? No! No! <laughs> Why did you get the mask? You can't even see the eyes! It is a walking mouth! With faults! It's a, it's a blindfold! <laughs> okay, you know what? Let me read the story. Okay, that thing is actually really interesting. Uh, it's even a short story that makes it even better. <laughs> okay. 
<clears throat> it's a good day. Are you still shy today? One sunny day, when they were sincerely drying the laundry in the yard, sadness struck suddenly. In our city, sacrifices for corporation must be highly praised. Honor for their debts. No reason for you to cry either. Rather, you should be glad. What's with that look on your face? That kind of expression, facial expression, isn't recommended in our city. How dare you are sad! Goodness, why are you making such a face? You're making the others feel gloomy too! Please be more considerate, you don't live in this world alone after all. How dare you show your true emotions around here? You're very poor at expressing your emotions. You must be quite shy, otherwise you would be smiling all days. Hey, try to look more pleased. That way those living in the outskirts will be more envious of us, because we're living a lie. <laughs> oh god, I don't like this already. Put a big smile on your face, it's not that hard. <laughs> Next time, try to express yourself more clearly. It is very important to express oneself in this society, but only with happy thoughts. We don't like sadness around here. <laughs> okay, I can already see why, why he decided to go with this method. It's actually kind of painful to, to keep smiling even though you don't want to. It actually kind of hurts your face sometimes. You really feel a gram in your, your cheeks after a while. <clears throat> One sunny day, just like that day, they sincerely tried the laundry. They tried their own skin. Everyone was finally satisfied when they showed up and showed a bright smile. If they met people who asked what was wrong, they would respond, I'm just shy, that's all. Just shy. If one tries to look at the face behind the skin, the result will not be pretty. The space between, or rather behind their skin, is the only personal space they have left. Leave it uninvaded. It is the last bit of generosity the city can offer. So they don't have any type of privacy around that city. And they can only hide themselves behind themselves. Or rather, the remains of themselves. Okay, that is actually kind of sad. Really. Sorry about the jokes. I didn't mean it. I didn't know that you had such a tragic history about it. I still don't like the fact that you gave him this mask, though. I mean, uh, it is literally a part of... Yeah, I know that you don't like that comment, but it's still a part of your face. You shouldn't give that around like this. Even if you're friends with Lapus. <laughs> I can't pre. Yeah, I know. So fine, let's just end the day. <laughs> See, Lapa is really, it's really liked by certain abnormalities around here. <laughs> it doesn't really like any type of back talking, that's for sure. <laughs> Even if it has a sad background story, doesn't change the fact that I don't really like the look of it. <laughs> oh, another new one. Eventually, intellect loses all meanings as they forget how to even exist. It's actually a tool abnormality and that's something we actually have to worry about. Usually speaking, most tool abnormalities end up in an explosion, so uh, I'm not really looking forward to that that much. <laughs> Alright, uh, the last time we denied that drink. Sure, sure, let's drink one glass. I mean, it's the post game, we're free to do whatever, right? <laughs> Allow me to give you a small bit of advice. To probably drink a glass of champagne, one should gently hold the lower steam of the glass and then take it, take it in slightly, savoring the bubbles. Perfect, just like that. Oh, well, I mean, I haven't really seen you during the final, but at the very least, we were able to ch at least ch ch exchange one glass of champagne, <laughs> even though we kind of had to repeat the cycle again in order to redo this, but still! The thought is what counts, right? The thought is what counts. So, tool abnormality. Let's see. It has the same containment as the healing bracelets, but it comes with an eyeball. Hey, Lapus, would you like to try that out? Come on over, Lapus. I'm actually going to speed it up as well, just in case. Uh, is it a use? It's a time-based one. Oh god, this is going to be terrible. Yeah, I know, it's, it's terrible. Wait, stick right here. 
it lowers your prudence by 10. Instantly. The second that you get it, it lowers your prudence. Not entirely sure if that's good. Why is it already coming with a... Wait, did it improve its justice though? Did it? Oh yes, it did. Plus 15 attack speed and 23 movement speed. That's, that doesn't look normal. And he certainly didn't spend enough time in the training facility in order to get that boost. Yeah, it's only three days, and he isn't even the captain either. Behavior adjustment, it's called. And so far, it doesn't really seem like he's exploding, so that's a good thing. I'm a bit worried about returning it, though. Simply because uh, of the notes of the crazy researcher. Remember when we got the notes and uh, I tried to return it and they... <coughs> could technically end up exploding if they didn't do any type of work for sorts of between return or if they didn't spend enough time with it i don't really want to do that to my lapus by accident you know okay wait we have it yes okay behavior adjustment an electronic device with a mysterious symbol engraved into it simply an eyeball maybe a camera it's Readjust everyone to become righteous, no matter how wicked, evil, and arrogant they may be. So it makes, or rather, it turns them into a better person. However, its user will become too dependent on the device and loses all ability to think on their own. Eventually, intelligence loses all meaning as they forget how to even exist. So it changes them completely. It doesn't really change them into a better person, it simply erases them entirely. Until they, they're just a device themselves. Status regarding justice will increase greatly when behavior adjustment is equipped. However, all stats regarding prudence will drop at the same time. The wearer will enter panic if ordered to return, uh, return behavior adjustment within 30 seconds of equipping it, just like the notes, and will die shortly after showing abnormal behaviors. If the wearer's SP hits zero when behavior adjustment is equipped, they will instantly die. That actually doesn't really sound like a bad thing. I mean, consider the fact that what happened with Bina and Hogma. If one of my guy is crazy, they usually like to run away or release stuff around here. And if I cannot pause, or if they are in a group of people, it's kind of hard for me to handle them as quickly as possible within one pause. So if I had that thing before, I mean, it's it's possible to predict who's going to get the panic hit from Hawkma, but technically speaking, that could have helped me get rid of one of my dangerous employees, who I certainly don't want to have panic around here. Like Maxime. Maxime had Aleph gear. It's really tough to cure her with white damage, simply because that Mountain of Smiling Armor type protected her from pretty much all damage types. And she was really strong with her Nothing Dare equipment as well. It was really dangerous handling Maxime around there. But other than that, it seems I can simply return it now, right? I mean, I already spent three minutes with it. Yeah, there are no downsides. You can just equip it for like a minute or something and return it if you don't need it anymore. Or is the stat permanent? No, once you, once you remove it, the stat return to normal. Doesn't really seem that bad. I think I would have liked to have that earlier. Huh. <laughs> much, much better than a certain other thing that I had. <coughs> Precept. I mean, it was a funny running joke, but let's be serious. <laughs> the Precept is kind of bad. You can only use it once. <laughs> okay. Hey, Lapus. Alright, uh, everyone. Please come over here. We can literally pretty much level all sets around here. And I need as many people as possible in order to get some gold work results around here, right? Right? You would like to play with Lapus again? You like Lapus, right? Huh? But sad? Why? Just because he's not alone. Oh, Lapus is very close and suddenly you're happy again. I see. I see how it is. There. Grow attached to each other. I knew that you were friends. <laughs> Anyways, uh, give me a second. I'm... 
I need a bit of... Wait, do we even have an, a new abnormality today? I think we're not going to get any since uh, today's a freebie day, right? So that means I'm going to be two in two days! Next to the next abnormality check, right? <laughs> See you in a bit! Oh god! Oh god, it's multiplying! It's already two! It's already two! And we can do it again with repression and butterscotch simply because uh, I want to give her as much speed as possible! I found out that the outfit from our apple fits perfectly with the blue from the Beauty and Beast, right? It looks perfect from her. <laughs> Technically speaking, in her description, it, it is said that she's actually fist fighter. But I really like the idea of her poking everyone in the butt so that they start working faster, you know? <laughs> it would totally fit as a character. I mean, she is she's supposed to be a bit angry and crazy once she's mad. I could totally see her kick somebody in the in the butt in order to move them forward. Ah, nothing new. Uh, let's try re-extraction. Uh, 04100. The more blood it has, the more beautiful it is. Welcome aboard! I think uh, that's already our fourth new abnormality. And I'm already seeing that we're slowly running out of time. <laughs> oh god. I wonder how much percent those four new abnormalities are going to give us. Probably not a lot, since we were lacking 40, around a 35, uh, 34%. But hey, it's, it's already quite an improvement. A lot of tet things, right? We missed a lot of uh, tet abnormalities. All of them were actually tet. Now that I look at it. All of them. Okay, I would say I'm going to move those two over. So that we still have some guys taking care of the control team. We don't really need to have that many guys around here since meltdowns aren't really going to be an issue around here. The only thing that we have to worry about are our new abnormalities. And this time around, it is a tree. Alright, uh, Butterscotch, would you be so kind to do an insight check on it? There you go. Let's see what it is going to do. Uh, wait. When the beauty is at its peak, the ritual of the end will come. Ritual of the end? Beauty as it's at its peak? All those who look at this, uh, look at it, in the sunless place, feel pure peace. A sunless peak, uh, rather, a sunless place, and a tree. I don't think, I don't think this is going to work that well, though. Don't trees usually need some kind of sun around here in order to fully grow? But then again, it seems like inside was actually kind of... Well, it was normal, never mind. It was just normal. Uh, how about some instinct then? In the meantime, you can still try to boost up your justice a bit further. As you can see, thanks to the beauty and the beast, I was able to improve my dancer's justice by quite a lot. All the way to 80 and 70. She's really, really tanky, right? She's really, really... Instinct is also bad? The heck? Okay. Butterscotch. Attachment. Attachment. But as you can see, <laughs> thanks to Beauty and the Beast, Medenza is becoming rather, relatively strong and tanky, right? Relatively strong and tanky. Oh, wait. Let's not do any more repression about it, otherwise I might accidentally kill her. And that's something we don't want, right? That is something we don't really want. Okay, so we finally got a good result. And I think it changed. Not entirely sure if it was because of the neutral results, maybe it has some kind of equilibrium encounter. And it got triggered by the neutral result. I mean, I did get two. I didn't really pay attention once we select the third work result. Wait, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six management guidelines for a 12 or 10 one. Okay. 
When the work for something was good, the quill for counter is- Oh, I see. Ah, you're one of those guys. Uh, when an employee panics in the containment unit, the quill uh, the quill for counter also gets no words. But don't worry about a thing, all of my guys are relatively tanky. They will never panic around here. When the quill for counter reaches zero, a random employee in the facility began to move towards all four 100 units. This status was designated, uh, designated as Captivated. When a Captivated employee reaches the containment unit, they were dragged into the tree. Into the tree. After a continuous attempt to select and convert with Bella, who was Captivated, they seemingly returned to, to normal. When all captive employee return to normal, the Quillifin Tower the uh, Quillifin Counter returns to its maximum. So it is possible for us to actually save them from that stat. Okay, that's good to know. After dragging an employee in, when other employee commences work with all four one hundred, the Quillifin Counter returns to its maximum maximum. Furthermore, the HP and SP of every employee in the facility was healed. It is one of those rare healing abnormalities? Without a timer? Okay. Huh. That's good to know. So, that means if I get more good work results, it's going to start brainwashing guys, I guess. Kinda. There's also a Dawnity coming up very soon, I almost forgot about that, but technically speaking, after day 5, they kind of start showing up, right? But it seems like it's actually kind of difficult to actually get some good results around here. Or maybe it's because uh, I wasn't really able to boost up her attachment that much. But then again, Lapa's attachment isn't that much better either, right? It's just... 69! <laughs> It is 69, it's not that good. It's really difficult. Oh wait, that that actually counts as a good result. Ooh, wait, would you look at that? So does it already count as in full bloom or not entirely sure. I should probably get the escape information. It has a quill of encounter of three. And it's actually called the Grave of Sherry Blo Blossoms. Let's see. Oh my god, that's pretty. It's not good, it has a red weakness and all. Actually speaking, the white and black resistance is kind of decent. But it looks really pretty. Too bad that it's kind of dead, huh? <laughs> if that was he, at the very least I could start to equip it. But it technically still has some room for improvement, so how about... We're going to spend even more attachment on it. Huh? How about that? I would really like to see that effect in action. Wait, do you also come with a hat or maybe? Oh yes, you come! And it's actually a... A com! That boosts movement speed and attack speed! That might fit even better to hot butter scotch! <laughs> even though I must say it's kind of hard to beat uh, that bloom from Beauty and the Beast. It fits very nicely to her set. Oh, it can also attract the clerks. Okay, now I need normal speed. I'm gonna watch this very closely. Is it just clerks or am I guys also affected? Okay, it's just the clerks. Clerks don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care about the clerks. Wait, does everyone get killed? Everyone who got uh, brainwashed died after it found its target? Are those hands? I think those are hands. Okay, now it's in full bloom. The Quilf Encounter returns, so if I were to do some inside check on it now... It's going to heal, right? It's going to heal? Uh, after dragging an employee in, when another employee commences to work with it, returns to its maximum. Furthermore, the HP and SP of every employee in the facility was healed. Now it's kind of hard to tell how, by how much. But in general... Why food? You're ruining the moment! You're literally ruining the moment! Lapos, get them! 
You get them. Holy hell, let me just watch my tree. I just want to watch my tree, you know? Shoot them, Lapos! Shoot all of them! <laughs> it's just getting in the way! Actually speaking, how's it going over there? I don't think you guys are going to have any issues with them. I mean, you have four gear, right? That's four gear. They should be able to do anything. They are literally ruining the, the picture, though. <laughs> so let's see. Ah! So, okay, so after witnessing the, tr the tree in its whole glory, it bursts into a, a storm of petals and blooms and cherry blossoms. Here's everyone around here and uh, starts anew. Meaning I can sacrifice the clerks for years. But they still count as deads, right? So Mountain of Smiling Body wouldn't have really liked that either. But still, it is, it is a good option for, in order to get some cures around here. Especially in the, in the containment units where bullets aren't an option, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Gonna get those remaining informations next. We can do pretty much anything with it, as long as it isn't a repression, but it's fine. For that reason, we have Shy Look and my beautiful Beauty and the Beast. How much time do I have left? Barely any. Okay. I would say we're going to end the part after reading its story. Because that thing is actually really helpful. I never really like those clothes. So let's see. Is it a long- Oh god, it's a long walk. Oh, okay! Well, uh, let's start, huh? <laughs> a tree that stands in the middle of the containment unit. It never withers, even if it is not given any form of nutrient. Some employees take time to rest near the, near the tree. Employees sometimes enter its containment unit for leisure. Pansy. Hey, Xavier! Did you see that new abnormality? I think you got put in charge of it. Yeah, I saw it alright. Just some tree with butts along its branches. I don't think they'll be able to bloom without sunlight. Did you start making observation and writing reports yet? Nah, I think I get it. Uh, I get to it soon enough, though. All right, take care. Well, at the very least, it seems like they're still alive since their name is still there. <laughs> That's a good sign. That's a good sign. As long as nothing is censored, they're going to survive. Hey, long time no see. How's it going lately? Yo, got this. You know that abnormality we had talked about before? I didn't think it's hostile, and guess what? It started to blooming. It was so surreal, looking at them. It felt like spring had come for the first time in this place. Is that okay? Usually any sort of change is a bad omen for something catastrophic here. Don't worry, it's just a harmless little flower. Thanks for worrying about me, though. <laughs> Don't ever underestimate flowers, okay, Xavier? Ever. There's one thing I learned. Butterflies and flowers are the worst enemy that you can ever encounter. Combined with squirrels. Squirrels are even worse. <laughs> okay, bonjour again. How's work been going for you? Golly, the flowers just keep blooming. I think it will fill up the whole unit at this rate. You should see it for yourself. It's really beautiful. I don't think I, I would ever get sick of looking at it. I love to, man, but I can't. I've been so busy lately. Really? Damn, what a shame. It's absolutely magnificent, I'm telling you. Hmm. You're doing alright, by, uh, by the way? You've been making a lot of mistakes these days. It seems like you've been spacing out a ton, too. Don't worry, it's nothing. I gotta I gotta head back now. Oh, I've been making a sketch of the tree, actually. I will let you be the first person to see it when I'm done. He's making mistakes? That's not a good sign. Audio recording of counseling session. Yeah, I've been getting re <laughs> I've been getting better recently. I got better at managing abnormalities too. Going to the grave of Sherry Blossoms, Chapter makes me feel weirdly amazing. Like you said, I never believed that Mumbo Jumbo about Flora giving out a good hour or whatever. But I guess it was true. It's such a shame I can't see those Sherry Blossoms with Xavier. I got to see his work and process, uh, process sketch when I was rumbling through his stuff one, day, uh, one time. 
the actual tree was much more beautiful. It was more magnificent than everything he described it as. It's such a tragedy he went missing before seeing how it is now. He went missing, you say? If you find any abnormality suspicious, please make sure to look into them, alright? Yep, I'm fine now. I shook off that feeling. The cherry blooms all fell after I saw it that time. Yet I saw buds poking out of the branches again. Wouldn't it be alright if I oversaw the abnormality from now on? No, it's not a big deal. I just wanted to see those flowers in full bloom again. Yes, thank you. Notice of advice. Oh god, <laughs> we've received reports about an alarming increase in the numbers of employees who went to view grave of, of Sherry Blossom's containment. This feverish rush of requests is likely due to the absence of natural scenery in our facility. Because they don't know about Carmen's facility, right? That literally, that literal room of grass and trees. Nobody's allowed anywhere close there. Kind of dangerous. <laughs> However, I don't think there's any need to make a rule against it. We found that our staff mental containment, uh, mental contamination indicates in the, oh my god. We found that our staff mental contamination incident decreases when looking at Grave of Sherry Blossom. The reason behind this, un is, uh, behind this is unimportant. It could be Flora giving out a good hour, for all anyone cares. The only thing that's certain is that Grave of Sherry Blossom captivates our employees, and they don't know what lies beneath its roots. Did you realize that Cherry Blossoms are strikingly crimson? and its unmatching beauty is caused by its color. The more blood it has, the more beautiful it is. Our employees who are obvious to it, to it are drawn to it again and again. Just keep everything hushed for now. It's how it works in its place. Every good thing is kept like a very good secret, like the fairies, right? we are literally the only around here to eat you! <laughs> That's why they're not going to tell anybody about them either, because they are beneficial for us, so... <laughs> Let's not tell them about the fact that the tree is healing humans in order to heal everybody else with the blood of their friends. <laughs> oh god, this is going to leave the part on a sour note. <laughs> totally, totally. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of the bonus part. We're already doing quite a lot of progress. I mean, four of them already new. That's perfect. I hope you guys had fun, and see you tomorrow when we're going to hunt some more. Until then, bye-bye!